Dit is een Echo Radio videoproducties presentatie. Echo Radio. Ik, ik wil u allen van harte welkom heten, leden van Echo Radio. Um, en ja, we hebben iets belangrijks te vieren vanavond. Het is de uh, vijftiende, um, of, oftewel het derde lustrum van, van Echo Radio. After an introduction in the Netherlands language, Wiebeswaga continued in English to explain to the, as far as language is concerned, mixed crowd, the origins of Echo Radio. Uh, Echo Radio has developed into you know, something what could be called quite a considerable feat in that it has almost national coverage. Uh, Echo Radio can now be heard from Auckland right down to Invercargill. Uh, and it's using its sort of nine national access stations to do so. Financial supporters were acknowledged, like the Lotto Grant Sport, Westpac Trust, and Pub Charity. But beyond sort of like sort of the institutional supporters, I also would like to thank some sort of support that we've received from. From, from some outstanding members within the Dutch Netherlands community here. And they are present here tonight. Firstly, I would like to thank Karel Adriaans. Thank you, Karel. Karel has been a strong supporter for Echo Radio. And apart from uh, the, the monetary contribution he has brought to the, to the Echo Radio's organization, he also has made a very strong case for Echo Radio at boards on which he was uh, sitting. Secondly, I would also, and he's present as well, I would like to thank Adrian Tasman, who also has been a strong supporter of Echo Radio. And uh, I think, think, you know, very important heads, you know, sort of figureheads of the Dutch community showing that sort of support I believe has been very important for Echo Radio. I suppose there are a lot of members here of the uh, New Zealand Netherlands Society here. The New Zealand in Christchurch, the New Zealand Netherlands Society in Christchurch also has been supportive uh, with some very significant grants. The chairman of Echo Radio reminded the people present of the importance of friends of Echo Radio. To keep on going will remain to be difficult. Uh, however, I think with, with, with your support, there's a membership, and I would like to say something about how important it is for the membership to be financially supporting Echo Radio. Wiebe Zwarga, the chairman of Echo Radio. On behalf of Mr. Don Quested, the Netherlands consul in Christchurch, a letter was read by one of his staff, Mayo Oorthuis. It is a very significant day and I must con congratulate Theo and his board for their passion and dedication to keep this piece of Dutch culture alive and broadcasting. I know there have been difficult times, but each time Echo Radio has pulled through and in fact has now spread its programs throughout the country. <coughs> It's important in this day and age to keep the interest and culture of the home country alive as New Zealand is becoming much more multicultural and Echo Radio is playing its part in this. The significance of the Dutch influence in New Zealand today should not be forgotten and for those responsible for Echo Radio I applaud your dedication and foresight and please keep up the good work and enjoy the celebrations. Don Quested, Honorary Consul. After the official and serious part of the evening, it was time for a bit of tongue-in-cheek, supplied by one of Echo Radio's listeners, or, as he was introduced, a critical listener. I have been asked because I seem to be the main critic <laughs> of, of the radio here, Echo Radio. Now, I have listened to the BBC for 60 years, I've never had a lustrum. I have never had a meatball <laughs> from the BBC. So there must be good reasons why I am critical. <laughs> the first reason is that I like to hear a little bit about a Dutch parliament. And there is 
the, there is no Dutch parliament on the program. Uh, I beg your pardon. Oh, there is, there is. Of course there is. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. And I would like to hear something about the, the little people in, in Holland. You know, do you see little, little bits of useless information that is... Oh, <laughs> Mr. Bennett! Yes, sir. We get that all the time. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> You know, you know what? I shall give up my criticism. <laughs> and he almost had us fooled, as many thought his criticism was for real, Mr. Hank Bernards. Listeners like him do not allow us to let the standard drop. Next was Joke McLeod for a special presentation. Hello. I like to think Theo. Uh, it's not always been easy because you think he's such a gentle softly spoken person but I tell you something if you do something wrong he'll tell you in that nice soft spoken voice do it again you do it again <laughs> it's not right so but anyway he's been very very good to us and I like to thank him so please tell can you come here for a moment I've got something for you <laughs> You may not expect this, but uh, I'm not a public speaker unless I'm prepared with a script. But I was not. However, I soon discovered something familiar. Well, at least there is something familiar here, and that's a microphone. All I need now is a pair of headphones and a little boot so that I can hide in a corner where nobody can see me because I'm, this is a, a shocking experience. However, I thank you all for coming here tonight. Uh, it's been, or it is wonderful to see so many people here, uh, particularly uh, some from uh, as far as Don Eden, Mr. and Mrs. Vink, and Mr. and Mrs. Hausmann from somewhere up the North Island, I've forgotten, Hamilton region. Uh, it's lovely uh, for you to come down to uh, Christchurch. Well, thank you all very much and I hope you enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you. And for the remainder of the evening there was the chance to chat, be entertained by Vizio Hoekstra playing the piano and tempted by the snacks kindly donated by Martin Lufen of Le Traiteur of Merivale and the drinks supplied by our chairman Wiebe Zwaga. Also a big thank you to Joke McLeod and Martin van Urk who organized the evening and uh, Martin also for the display for our video productions. I would also like to thank everyone who was present at the party and those who could not make it but uh, have sent us good wishes via emails, cards and letters. Finally, Wiebe Zwaga, Frans Hertogs, Hans van Krechten, Joke McLeod and Martin van Eurk, whom with their weekly contributions to the programme have helped to keep Echo Radio alive and proudly looking to the future. Without your support, I would have been a lonely soul.